a little bit of snow on the way as we head toward tonight into tomorrow. A little bit of wind out there as well. You can probably hear it right now. It's gusting to about 50, but this will focus on tonight into the first part of tomorrow. Now, we did issue uh, one wind weather advisory. This is for uh, northern Johnson County. But you can see it extends up towards Sheridan, our partners up to the north, and the Billings office going up toward uh, southern Montana as well. So if you have to travel in this area, especially late tonight and tomorrow morning, things could get a little bit dicey at times. Now, our expected impacts. Now, this will be coming in from the northeast for the backdoor cold front. So first place you'll see it will be Johnson County, I-90. They're pressing further south in the east as we head toward after midnight and toward uh, sunrise on uh, Friday morning. I'm not going to read this whole thing, but one thing I want to emphasize is generally the further north and east you go, the bigger the impact's going to be. So the most impacted area will be Johnson County, some very strong winds going along with that snow. So it could be a lot of reduced visibility on the roads there. Maybe a little rough travel around Casper as well, but as you head further south and west, impacts will have gradually dropped off. Now, how much wind are we expecting? You can see a wind gust anywhere from about 40 to 50 miles per hour. Strongest wind gust will be up in here. I wouldn't be surprised around Buffalo as you had isolated wind gust to about 60 miles per hour during the height of this thing. But most areas are going to see wind gusts anywhere from 30 to 40 miles per hour. So any snow that falls is going to blow around. It is going to drastically reduce your visibility. Now, for snowfall, look at probabilistic stuff instead of the actual amount since this is a banded snow. Again, you have that in the drink again. Take a drink right now. But the highest amounts, I think, out of this are almost definitely going to fall up here around Buffalo. It could be two or three inches up in here. This is a chance of seeing basically a trace. That's out point one. So much of the area east to buy at least a 50% chance of that. Highest chance of seeing that in the Trona County down toward, uh, say, up toward Johnson County, I should say. And also the Bighorn Basin, especially Cody with the winds going this way. Could be a little bit of upslope here against the Absorcas. Now, chance of seeing an inch or more, again, best chance. Johnson, Natrona, also Park Counties. Best chance I think will be up around Buffalo. If anyone gets three or four inches out of this, it's probably going to be up in this area. Maybe up on top of Casper Mountain as well. But just about anywhere in this area here. If a snow shower or a snow band sets up the right way, you could pick up a quick inch or two of snow as well. Just the chances here are a lot less. There's our resources, whether to go to our website, weather.gov slash RIW. You want road conditions? Again. Don't call us for road conditions. Go to these places. Well, I wrote that info on the web. If you want to call them on the phone, 511 in-state, 188 Wild Road, out of state. Now, if you want webcams by route, go to weather.gov slash REW, local programs, then click on our webcams by route. You can look at webcams all over the great state of Wyoming. Be safe, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day.